All right, guys, I'm Dr. Josh Stanky, Family Chiropractic, and today I'm gonna to show you our sp specific stretches for relieving lower back pain. So we get a lot of people, obviously, that come in with lower back issues, lower back pain, and stretches are a big part of their recovery and their rehabilitation. And so we, we usually suggest um, some pretty basic stretches, and that's what these will be. These will be pretty basic uh, that help to reduce lower back pain. Some of them uh, are ones that maybe you've seen before or done before, uh, but we suggest these to our practice members as we're adjusting them uh, to get their care moving and uh, to get them feeling a lot better, hopefully fast. And so um, I'm gonna show you these and Natalie's gonna demonstrate these. Uh, understand that, uh, make sure that you uh, consult a healthcare professional, your chiropractor, physical therapist, whatever it may be, as to what's right for you. This is more of just a, a video to show our patients who we recommend these to, but also general uh, stretches for lower back pain. Um, and of course, if you have any increased pain or severe pain, stop what you're doing, talk to your healthcare professional. Uh, but otherwise, uh, these stretches seem to, seem to work really well and uh, are just pretty proven to help with lower back issues. So I'm going to have Natalie come on up. We're going to start face down. We're going to do about five to seven different stretches here. Pretty basic. The first couple are kind of yoga style stretches. This first one, we're going to do kind of a modified cobra. So Natalie's going to put her hands underneath her chest and kind of lever her legs and pelvis kind of on the ground. She's going to push up, stretching this lower back nice and slow, nice and easy. For all of these stretches, we hold them for five to 10 seconds, taking nice, slow, deep breaths, and then we'll relax. And we do those five to 10 times. So doing them several times, kind of relaxing in between and doing them again. So that holds true for all these stretches. So that's the first one, a modified cobra. Uh, this next one's gonna be kind of a child's pose. So she's gonna sit back uh, on her knees and sit back into uh, kind of her heels, pushing her hands out in front of her. She's trying to stretch this lower back. So the purpose of this is kind of push back stretching lower back, pelvis, hips, and uh, take a nice little deep breath in that. She'll relax, do that five to 10 times, and stretching, uh, nice easy stretch, slow stretch. So those are the first couple that we'll do on the hands, then we'll flip over on the back. This first one that we're gonna do on the back, um, and if you're one of our practice members, we give you a paper that kind of shows uh, one of these, but this first one that we're gonna do on the back is uh, what we'll call like a knee to chest. So we're gonna do one side, uh, where she's just gonna bring kind of knee to chest as close to it as she can, as, she, as, as close as possible as she can, uh, holding nice, slow, deep breaths, feeling that stretch, um, and uh, going as uh, going a little farther as she can, kind of making sure that she's not causing severe pain or making things worse, but but just kind of uh, putting her body uh, through a good stretch. And then she's gonna switch sides. We always do both sides, even if the problem is like let's say a right sided problem. We'll do both sides to keep the good balance of the body, keep the whole thing, whole structure and biomechanical system moving. So then she's gonna relax, and then we'll actually do both, both feet, yeah, both legs. So she's just gonna kind of pull both, up, stretch the lower back, uh, hamstrings, and glutes. So good, relax. So it's a pretty easy stretch. Now she's gonna do something similar, but she's gonna scoot down to the end of this bed. If you don't have a table like mine, that's okay, you can use a bed. She's gonna do a really similar stretch, with one leg hanging off. So she's gonna pull this right leg up, leaving the left leg hanging off. She's probably gonna feel th this stretch a little bit more, not just the leg she's stretching, but also the opposite leg. So if you don't feel that stretching, you wanna scoot down a little bit farther, hang that leg off. It's just kind of an added weight to stretch kind of some other things in the pelvis uh, and the iliopsoas or the hip flexor. So she's gonna switch once again. And on this one, we won't do both legs. We've already done that. That's not gonna uh, stretch the same thing as hanging this leg off the table when we have both legs up, okay? Good, you can scoot back up, uh, Natalie. Okay, this next one that we're gonna do uh, is a hamstring stretch. So instead of bending this leg, she's gonna keep it straight. So keeping her knee straight, and just, she's gonna try to pull up here, okay? Now, sometimes you're not very flexible. Uh, you don't have very much motion. You just do the best that you can. You should feel a stretch in the hamstring and down into the glute, correct? So trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. You can have people help you with this. My only caution is make sure you trust the person because if they stretch you too far, too hard, too fast, it's not fun. So go ahead and relax. We'll do both legs on that. You don't have to do that first now. The next stretch that we'll do, she's gonna keep her knees together and bend both legs. Okay, she's gonna bring her feet up like this, okay? Typically she's gonna put her arms out if there was, if you were on the floor, you put her arms out. This is gonna be a little more difficult because she's on her table, but typically she's gonna put her arms straight out, stabilize herself on the floor, and I'm just gonna help her so she doesn't fall off the table. She's gonna let her legs kind of lay to the one side, okay? Nice and slow. So we're gonna stretch on one side of the lower back, hold that, nice and slow. She's gonna switch to the other side. Remember, nice, slow, deep breathing through these. 
allowing the body to stretch, the muscles to slowly stretch, and uh, just creating good motion in the joints. Okay, just gonna do that back and forth both sides. Okay, just like that. Okay, good. Last one that we're gonna do, this is actually a really good one for sciatic type issues, piriformis issues. So uh, the muscles that gotta kinda go across the buttock here, the glutes, the piriformis, that can cause a lot of issues with lower back and down the leg, so sciatic type pain. Uh, this is a good stretch, but it's a little bit uh, more involved, a little bit um, difficult to understand by just looking at a paper. So we're gonna figure four legs. So right leg crossing over the left. She's gonna bring up the bottom leg and she's gonna reach through her leg with one arm and, and on the outside of the other arm, she's gonna pull this up, okay? What that's gonna do, it's gonna really stretch the opposite side kind of buttock. She's gonna kind of hold that. Now when you do this, I like to try to get you to relax and still get a good stretch. So you're not straining your neck and upper back while you're trying to stretch your lower back, okay? Good, relax. Let's do the opposite side so they can kind of see that. Good, and pulling that bottom leg up. So you're kind of figured forward, pulling up the bottom leg, and you should do a stretch on the opposite side here, okay? So that's a piriformis stretch, really good for lower back stuff. We're gonna relax. Good, when all said and done, you should be nice and stretched out in the lower back. You might still have aches and pains through this, but consistency is key. Remember, motion is life, life is motion. The more you move, the more you live. Keeping it moving correctly, that's where chiropractic care comes in. God bless you guys.